In a tiny copse at a secret location in Truro live some rather remarkable trees. The Plymouth pear is a real rarity, and somehow these ones have made it to Cornwall, all carefully catalogued. Kurt Jackson is one of Britain's leading artists and a zoologist. He's been inspired by them. You can see these pits, these primitive little pears, which give it the name of the, the wild Plymouth pear. Although I, I want to rechristen it as the wild Truro pear because they argue that it's genetically slightly different to the, the other location, which is near Plymouth. Well, I know there's more of them in there. Let's go and have a look. OK. There's what, is there maybe a dozen here? Yeah. A dozen s specimens of this incredibly rare species of tree. They say they grow to four and a half metres high, so let's say that's, that's definitely a mature specimen. It's probably one of the oldest examples this species living, I should think. The Plymouth pear tree features in Kurt's forthcoming exhibition of Cornwall's trees at Truro's Lemon Street Gallery. He says we've already lost far too many species. We're here sandwiched between a field and a lane. OK, if someone decided to widen this, this lane, or if, or if the landowner, who luckily is a very nice man, but if he wasn't, decided to extend his field, the few dozen specimens here could be lost, gone, gone forever. And, and it's, it's scary, isn't it? It's quite terrifying that this one species is hanging on here like this.